Tic-Tac-Toe. And now, here's our host, Sweet Wendell. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Oh, and away we go. What a great day to play a little uh, Tic-Tac-Toe. Let's meet our players. We do need two players, and here is uh, here are the two players involved right now. Here they come. Thank you very much, Wink. Our current champion has winnings totaling in cash $3,200. He's been an auctioneer, and he's also served as Assistant Attorney General for Montana. Meet Richard Tranger. And his opponent is a junior high attendance clerk whose interests include reading, needlepoint, and pop music. Meet Carol McGurr. The reason I paused a second ago, I thought, let's see, now does the champion come out first or does that lovely lady come out first? And uh, let's talk to the pretty lady first. How are you, Carol? I'm just fine. Welcome back to Thank our you. show. Thank you. Glad to be back. Last time you told us you were married and that uh, your husband was a real man. I mean, a real masculine guy. Yeah, he is. You can see for yourself he's out Where there. Where is he? Is he in the audience? There he he's is. He's got to be here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Hold up your hand, sir. Oh, you think he's macho? Oh, yeah. Yeah? He is. What do you think, audience? Is he the <laughs> macho type? I guess so. Richard, what do you think about him? Well, frankly, Winky's not my type. <laughs> Give me a little time. I'll keep looking for you, okay? Last time we found out you dabbled in auctioneering, which is not an easy thing to pick up, I wouldn't think. Right, Wink. When we display the categories, would you do us a favor? Would you sort of auctioneer the first three or four categories, huh? Okay, it would okay. be fun, sure. Hey, give them a nice round of applause. You're going to like the way they play Tic Tac Joe. So let's get started and take a look at the categories. And when you see them, Richard, I'll give you the cue, and you start with the first three, and I'll pick up from there. Okay. We're going to be playing with these subjects in this game. Okay, Richard, take the top three. And in the first box, we give chemistry, chemistry, moon. On the second box, funny men, funny men, and on to animals, animals, animals. Now on to you. And uh, <laughs> I tried to pick it up, and I couldn't. Very good. Now, in case you didn't understand that, he said chemistry, funny men, and animals. Foreign words on the board. In the center, gems and James. Female Achievers, Baseball, Civil War, and Television Cops. Now, when the game was interrupted on the last show, this is what the board looked like. There was one O for Carol and an X in the center for Richard. $500 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories around and go back to you, Richard, as our champion. Where would you like to begin and continue this game? Uh, I'll try Female Achievers, Wink. Okay, Female Achievers, and here's your question. Both a Broadway play and a film musical were based on the life of Maria von Trapp and her flight from Nazi-occupied Austria with the singing Von Trapp family. Name the film, Richard, and you'll have your second X. The Sound of Music. Right, very good. So we put an X there on female achievers and move the categories around. We now have $700 in the pot. Carol? We'll go with Jims and James to block. All right, to block him, answer this. Actor Jim Backus co-starred with Bob Denver in a television series about a group of people shipwrecked on an uncharted Pacific island. To block Richard, name the show. Gilligan's Island. You got it, right. Good for a block. Put it over there and let's shuffle them around again. Five boxes on the board, Richard. What do you like? Uh, let me try TV Cops up on top. Please. Okay, and as we continue, we have $900 in the pot. TV Cops. Richard, this series starred Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. as Inspector Lewis Erskine and based its stories on the files of a real-life law enforcement agency. Name the series. The FBI. Yes, very good. We put an X there. Four boxes left on the board. Let's shuffle them around and see what Carol McGear has to select from. Foreign words, animals, female achievers, and civil war. Carol? Okay, mm female achievers. You're going for a block, aren't you? Yes. Answer this, you'll block Richard. This American-born opera singer who died in 1977 was noted for her relationship with Aristotle Onassis and even more for her enormous talent as a singer and actress. To block Richard, name her. Maria Callas. That's right, good for a block. Put an O there. Three boxes left on the board, Richard. Let's shuffle and see what comes up for you. You can select from funny men, Jims and James, and or foreign words. I'll try foreign words, Wink. Okay, $1,300 in the pot. Question. First, take a look at this foreign word, Richard. This is a French word for part of your anatomy. Name it. The head. Yes, very good. Another X goes up on the board. Two boxes are left. Two boxes for you, Carol. Let's shuffle them and see what comes up. Fifteen hundred in the pot. Animals and funny men. What's your pleasure, my dear? Animals to block. For a block. Answer this question on animals to block Richard. This large family of animals includes the mandrill, the spider, and the rhesus. For a block, name it. No idea. 
Oh, golly, no guess. Monkey. Oh. Monkey, the spider monkey, the rhesus monkey, and the mandrill monkey. Yes. So, we're going to shuffle again. Two boxes left on the board, Richard. Let's see what comes up for you to pick from. Baseball and chemistry. 1,500 in the pot. I'll try chemistry to win, Wink. If you answer the question on chemistry, you'll have tic-tac-toe. An additional $1,700 added to your prior winnings would give you a grand total of $4,900. Richard, here's your question. This chemical element, whose symbol is CL, can exist as both a poisonous gas and a solid. For a total of $4,900, name this element. Chlorine. Yes, for Tic Tac Joe. <laughs> so, Richard, congratulations to you. Your grand total on Tic Tac Doe is now at $4,900, oh, and you get you. to try to beat our dragon shortly. And to you, Carol McGear, a good game, well played. We have a couple of nice prizes for you thank as you, you leave us, and thank you for I playing. I enjoyed, thank you. All righty. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll take him to see if he can beat the dragon. Uh, sir, you have defeated three opponents so far. Defeat two more for a total of five, and Jay Stewart, what do you have for him? It's a brand new car! <laughs> Buick's Dramatic Sensory Limited, the mid-sized personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The Sensory Limited by Buick. Now, back to you, Wink. The next order of business is to try to slay the dragon. Come on over and let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Last time, I think it's good that you brought some help. Who'd you bring along? We'll my, the, my wife. We'll and meet my her in just a second, yes. okay? Now, behind the numbers of various amounts of money in a dragon, all you have to do is hit $1,000 or more, and you win the prize package. Now, before we start the bonus game, would you please put these sunglasses on? Let me see how they look on you. My God, it's Cary Grant. All of a sudden, just like that. Hey, they look good on you. And you know why I put those on you? Because if you win this prize package, these are going to come in very, very handy, and Jay Stewart's going to tell you why. Listen carefully. First of all, Richard, those are not ordinary sunglasses that Wink just gave you. They're part of your new fashion designer's collection of sunglasses. Introducing Reeve Gauche Eyewear, a very spirit, very special, very beautiful collection of contemporary eye fashion. You'll put an elegant face in the sun with Reeve Gauche Eyewear. Now, of course, you're going to need more than just sunglasses, so we're sending you shopping for your new swimwear, a special $250 gift just from Tic-Tac-Toe. And next, you'll want to have those sunglasses and swimsuits on for your first trip in your new sailboat. Snark Sunflower Sailboat carries two adults or four children safely. Only weighs 45 pounds. It's safe and easily transportable. Sunflower, furnished by Snark Products Incorporated. And better still, keep your new swimsuits, uh, your swimsuits dry because you're going to be packing them in your new luggage. Travel in style with United States luggage. Roll away wheels and retract those stainless steel pull cord. The strong, lightweight fabric is made of DuPont Cordura nylon. And now, Richard, you wear those sunglasses and swimsuits on the beach. You're going to the breathtaking beaches of beautiful Puerto Vallarta. Land of long, lavish beaches. Ideal climate, beautiful countryside, and charming people. Sightsee among its legendary past and enjoy its exciting present. It's marvelous Mexico, a vacation you won't want to miss. And you'll fly there in style, by the best thing going, luxurious Mexicana. The airline most people fly to Mexico. Mexicana, the airline that flies to all the favorite resorts in Mexico. And while in Mexico, you'll be staying at the exclusive Los Tunis Hotel, tennis club and resort condominium development. Air conditioning, gourmet restaurant, swimming pool and private beach set in 64 acres of lush tropical gardens in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Los Tunis. And Richard, including your sunglasses, this prize is worth, in cash and merchandise, over $3,200. <laughs> including the sunglasses. The sunglasses, by the way, are $3.50 of that total. You want to take those off or leave them on as we play, huh? I think, I think I'll take them off. Okay, I'll hold them for you, because okay. they're mine. <laughs> now, avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Uh, get the tick and the tack, you automatically get the dough. Now, let's cover them all up, move them all around, take a look at the numbers, and begin. You select the first, and we'll uh, ask your wife to help you with the next one. Uh, six. Number six, okay. Let's look behind number six. Maybe you need the wife on this one. We're going to find out now. Oh! We should have gone to her first. Wow. Doggone it all. That is too bad. Gee, money Christmas. 
You didn't have much luck. Are you a little depressed and down and out? No, Wink. It's Lift all, it's all beautiful. It's it all, is? Yeah, it really <laughs> is. <laughs> do you really mean that? I really do. It's, uh, it's just been such great fun. Okay, let's look at the rest of the numbers here and see there was so much money up there, so many different Ooh. denominations. There was the tack and there was the tick. But you just have, why'd you pick six? I don't know. It was closest. Closest? <laughs> I guess that's as good a reason as any month. Let me tell you, though, you still have your winnings, which are considerable. Nobody can take all of this away from you. Cash and prizes you are in possession of $4,900. It makes you feel any better? Take those with you back over there as we get a new game underway, huh? I'll loan them to you till the end of the show. Okay, let's meet a new player for him to take on, Jay. Who do we have? Wait, this gentleman was a choir director and a fishing guide and is now working as a salesman. From Shreveport, Louisiana, meet Leon Reed. Leon Reed, how you doing, Leon? If it got any better, I couldn't stand it. Man, you've got a southern accent. Where are you from, boy? I'm from Ruston, Louisiana, originally. We live in Shreveport now. Yeah, that's northern Louisiana. Yeah, yes, it seems it like is. you'd have a northern accent. It is. Hey, what do you sell? They sell Cookies. You Cookies? <laughs> I didn't stutter. Cookies. <laughs> you could sell me anything, boy. I like I you. Talk you. like I do. I guarantee uh, you. What about cookies? How come? Why sell cookies? Well, because people eat a lot of them, and my daddy owns part of the company. <laughs> <laughs> that does make a difference. Uh, how do you like Los Angeles? Oh, it's fantastic. When you got such a variety in California, you got mountains and deserts and seashore and trout fishing. You got prettiest girls in the world. They're real lively, and they got the tans all over and. I love it. Go on, hurt a guy, Leon. Yeah, Just yeah. talk to a married man and really get him down. <laughs> uh, let me ask you, do you still look at girls? I mean, is it well, something? Well, I've got a girlfriend, but I still look at girls. Sure, just because you're on a diet don't mean you can't peruse the menu, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He does have a way with words. He has a way of getting that out. Listen, if we have a chance later, I'd like to uh, discuss appetizers, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, Leon and Richie, take a look at the board. These are the subjects we're going to deal with in this game of tic-tac-toe. Art, who am I? Famous movies, the Arabs, Israel, names the same, sleuths, initials, and dropouts. Richard, as the champ, you go first. I'll try the center square, Wink. Israel. Israel it is, and it's worth $300. A little harder, and as you know, on the center square questions, we give you a little extra time for your answer. The flag of Israel bears two colored stripes on a white background. It also contains the symbol of the Jewish faith. First, Richard, what color are the stripes? Secondly, name the ancient symbol. Think about that for a few seconds. Talking about the flag of Israel bearing two colored stripes on a white background. What color are the stripes, Richard? W Wink, could I answer the second part first? Yes. It also contains the symbol of the Jewish faith. Name the ancient symbol. That's the Star of David. That's right. Now we go back to part one of the question, what color are the stripes? Well, I think the stripe, it's a blue and white flag. What is your answer? Blue and white. Is that accepted? Yes, it is, Wink. Yes, blue is the answer. You got the part of the answer, blue and white. Blue is what we were looking for, and you got it. So let's put an X in the center box and let's move the categories around. $300 for that question, Richard. It just took a little time, that's all. Okay, Leon, in your best Louisiana accent, sir, what would you like? Oh, uh, I'll take who am I, Wink. Okay, who am I is the question, and here it is. Some people might think that I'm a cute, baby-faced comic, but no, I'm a star. I played Bluto in the movie Animal House. I recorded an album with Blue's brother, Aykroyd, and I was really live on Saturday nights. Who am I? John Belushi. Right. Got an O for John Belushi. Put it over there and let's shuffle the categories around. Five hundred dollars spot now, Richard. Um, I'll try sleuths, Wink. Gonna go with sleuths, all righty. Here's your question in that category. The famous fictional sleuth Sherlock Holmes maintained his London residence on a famous London street. Richard, put another X on the board by naming that street. I think it's Baker Street. You are right, Baker Street. 221B, Baker Street. Put an X there. Let's shuffle them around again. $700 in the pot now. Leon? Uh, famous movies, Wink. Yeah, you're going for a block of him. Yes, sir. Answer this, you'll block him. Take a look at this picture, Leon. This 1979 movie featured a daring escape from a maximum security prison. For a block, name the prison. Alcatraz. Yes, that's right. You blocked Richard today. We'll be back right after we take this break. do while the commercials are on. Richard, show him what you do while the commercials are on. He gets his exercise. He's standing <laughs> over there jogging. jogging. Leon's standing there perspiring. This is as fast as he can perspire. Pretty nervous. $900 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories around, see what comes up. For Richard, as we go back to you. 
I'll take uh, initials, Wink. Okay. Initials. First time we've had that uh, category show up. The initials SRO might appear on a sign outside a crowded event. What do the initials SRO stand for, Richard? Uh, standing room only. You got it right. Or statutory rules and order. Standing room only. Put an X there. Four boxes left on the board. Leon, let's shuffle them around and maybe you'll see something that you really like. Well, I'll take Israel uh, to block. Whether you like it or not, right? Yeah, sure will. <laughs> All right, Leon, for a block. Three Sabbaths are observed in Israel. Saturday and Sunday are for the Jews and Christians, respectively. Now, for a block, which day do the Muslims observe as their Sabbath? They would observe Saturday also. No, same, I'm afraid they'd observe you... Friday. Friday. Muslims observe the Sabbath no, on Friday. Still four boxes left on the board. Let's shuffle them for Richard and see what subjects he can select from. There they are. Well, I don't know much about it. I'll try dropouts to win. Okay, for a win on dropouts. Answer this. It'll give you tic-tac-toe. $1,300 for the game. Added to your prior winnings would take your grand total to $6,200. Richard Klinger, here's your question on dropouts. This European world leader did not finish school, but still managed to become Marshal of Yugoslavia. For tic-tac-toe and a total of $6,200, name him. Tito. Yes, Marshal Tito for a win. <laughs> Congratulations, Richard. Very, very good. And that uh, tic-tac-toe on the board means $1,300 to you. And your grand total now is up to $6,200 with a right to continue and try to beat that dragon again shortly. And by the way, the next game is going to be very critical for you because if you win the next game against your next opponent, you'll win a car. Leon, you know anything about auctioneering? Uh, no, sir, not very much. Yeah. I know when they say you're out, you're out. <laughs> Richard, you know anything about selling cookies? <laughs> not a thing. Well, why don't you guys continue just doing what you've been doing before you ever came on the show. Okay. Leon. Uh, continue selling cookies. I'm sure you do a marvelous job thank of it. You, Wink. Give everybody in Louisiana, we have a lot of viewers back there, our very best in your area, and thank you for being with us. Thank we have you a very couple kind. of nice prizes for you. It's always nice to meet a good southern man. Okay, Richard, come on over. Let's try to do it again. You're going to ask your wife to help with the very first number Absolutely, this time. Wink. All right, now you're going to see a dragon jumping all over that board in just a second. And while he's jumping, I want to tell you, you're going to be going for sunglasses. You're going to be going for the swimwear, the sailboat, the set of luggage. You're going to win that trip to Puerto Vallarta if you get $1,000 on the board without hitting that dragon. Cash and prizes worth over $3,250. Look at that little... You get him! You found him on the first number last time. It was number six. Now, we're going to cover him up. He's moving all over the board. You have no idea. We don't have any idea where he's going to show up. One to nine of the numbers. Let's go to your lovely wife. Where is she? Right out there, Is Wayne. she the only one with you? There, waving. Yeah. No, uh, my brother-in-law oh, is brother next to her. All right, what's your wife's name? Janice. Janice. He really didn't do this too well last time. Would you please give him a number, my dear? What do you say, number four? Four. No doubt about it. No doubt. She had her mind made up. Let's look behind number four and see if she has done the right thing. Yes, $150. Very good start. You want to go back to her? Absolutely. Okay, Janice, audience, what do you think? Number five. Please. Number five in the center? Okay. Let's look. Right next door to 150, under the two and above the eight, tick. All right, get attacked and you got a good win in a hurry. What did she say? She says three. Right? Number three, okay, above the six, next door to the two. What's behind number three? 500 big ones. You got $650. So you need a little cash, but you only need tax. Six. Number six. Okay, last time six was not a good number. Certainly the dragon would not dare show up behind that same number again, right? I hope not. All right, Richard, there he is. I do not believe it. I really don't believe it. But y there he is right in front of our very eyes. Let's look at the rest of the board. Where was the tack? If we just found the tacky tack, you'd have had an automatic win. Oh, uh, there it was up there behind number two. That's too bad. That is really rough. Yes. Well, what can you do? Well, listen, maybe next time. Huh? I hope so. But Wink. you would love that trip. I saw you. You just glowed when they talked about that oh, trip to Port of Ireland. Boy, would I love that, yeah. Wink. And I think she would have, too. Oh, we haven't had a vacation in years. That's all right. All you got to do is win your next match, and perhaps you'll have a shot at another trip. I hope so. Maybe that same trip. But so far, you have a grand total in cash and merchandise of $6,200. And that's better than Slatton's face. I'll take it. We'll be back right after we take a break. Please don't go away.